Hi everyone, I'm Stephen and welcome to Watch Out. I recently purchased this microscope from AliExpress and the question is, is, is a microscope from AliExpress any good? I've been wanting a microscope for a while, I've been looking at the Amscope ones and I ended up buying this one from Eakins. Um, I read a few things on the net that seem to suggest that they both come out of the same factory. I can't verify whether that's actually the case or not without buying the Amscope one and doing an AB comparison. Obviously I'm not going to do that. But yeah, this is the one that I ended up getting from AliExpress. Obviously it's a trinocular, so it supports a camera as well. I've been wanting to get a microscope for quite a while uh, for this watchmaking work, but also for my electronics work. And this is probably a good opportunity to really encourage you to go over, over and check out my other channel, Audio Nautica, which is mostly about hi-fi kind of things with some electronics and also some stuff about nautical slash ships things. So yeah, I got this microscope from AliExpress and the short answer is yes, it is a good microscope. Um, I'm really enjoying using it, but there are a few caveats and I'm just gonna go through those now. So firstly, when you buy something out of China, you know that customer support is always gonna be a little bit dicey and you, it just goes with the territory. You've got to expect that. Um, things like clear instructions, manuals, and so on. You've got to be prepared to work things out yourself. If you need help getting it set up, well, you're probably out of luck. Not always, but often that's the case. So this turned up in a great big carton. It was just under a thousand Australian dollars. Um, so basically half the cost was shipping, getting it here to Australia. Um, so yes, the microscope itself was very reasonably priced, but it had the wrong manual in it. Uh, the manual was for another microscope, so I had to work out just by looking on the, um, the pictures on the seller's website as to how this was supposed to go together. So this is Eakins brand, and I bought it from the Eakins store. There's other sellers on AliExpress who sell the same thing, but I got it from Eakins. You can tell, hopefully, that the pad printing looks kind of a bit dodgy, a bit dicey. Um, so supposedly if these are the Amscope ones, then that pad printing will normally wouldn't be there. But anyway, that's what it is. So as you can see, this is kind of like the, the double arm version. Um, there is, is like a single arm version as well. So you've got a fair bit of flexibility. This sort of slides back and forth like this. The one thing I will know is at full extension, it wants to fall over. Um, so it's okay about here, but the, the base is very, very heavy. But yeah, even with the heaviness of the base at full extension, it wants to fall over. So if you wanted to use it at full extension, you need to either add some weight to the base or maybe clamp it down to the desk. Um, so some of the things I really liked over this offering with respect to what Amscope was offering was that you do get some extra bits and pieces that you don't get with the Amscope version. So you get um, two versions of eyepieces. So you get a, a 10 times eyepiece and a 20 times eyepiece. I'm using the 10 times eyepiece. Um, it also comes with a range of Barlow lenses. That's the lens that screws under here. So I've got a 0.5 Barlow lens on there. And the reason why that's really important for this kind of work is this, is it gives me basically about 20 centimeters or so of space between my work surface and the lens. If I didn't have the 0.5 Barlow lens on, then the lens would be down here. And then all of a sudden there's a whole lot less room for, you know, working with screwdrivers, tweezers, you know, whatever you're trying to do, if you're trying to do that under the microscope. So that range of uh, Barlow lenses that it comes with out of the box is really, really handy. Um, it also comes with a C-mount adapter for the camera. However, there is one big caveat, and this is probably the biggest caveat on this microscope, is all the pictures on their website talk about it being, you know, they talk about camera in all the pictures, there's pictures of the camera. Guess what's not included? The camera's not included. Camera is an option. So if we go and have a look at what's actually on the website of the seller now. So this is the microscope on the AliExpress website and you can see in the top left corner, the first thing that you see is a picture of the camera. 
and then you go and look at all these other pictures that they have there's all these pictures of the camera so you know you could reasonably think especially when it even says you know HDMI camera and so on you'd think that it comes with a camera but no because when you scroll down here to the bottom of the screen this is the one that really matters so when you buy anything on aliexpress make sure you read this this is what's in the package if it's not in this list it's not included down here optional camera optional so optional means not included means you've got to actually buy it separately it's not really an option here there's like a, not a drop down list or a box to click saying you want the camera no you've actually got to go and buy the camera separately so I'm not upset though because you know the, the price I think is is very reasonable 572 Australian dollars um, so I'm pretty happy with that and yeah it was just under a thousand with the freight and so now if we just go and have a look quickly at the camera but just before I do if I can really encourage you to have a look at my Patreon, if you want to support this channel, I'm so thankful to my Patreons. My Patreon is patreon.com slash audio nautica. It's associated with my other channel. So let's have a look at this camera. Here we are, 48 megapixel full HD camera, $112 free freight. So I thought that was pretty reasonable indeed. So anyway, the, um, this LED ring light was included and that's really nice. It's got a 12 volt um, plug pack to power it. They did include also a little adapter to plug it into an Australian PowerPoint. It's a pretty dinky one. It's probably illegal if the truth be known. It wouldn't pass Australian standards. So that's what they throw in the box. If you didn't like that, you could just run down to JCAR or somewhere like that and get yourself a um, 12 volt plug pack with the, the right end on it and the right power plugs for your country. So turning now to the camera. So as I mentioned, I had to buy the camera separately, but I'm actually, you know, for the money, I'm actually really, really impressed with this camera. I did not find equivalent cameras to this on Amscope's website. So Amscope seems to have a range of standalone cameras for sale, but they're all quite a lot more expensive than this camera, several hundreds of dollars. So uh, more expensive so I'm really really impressed with this camera for what it is it includes a 16 gig uh, card which is pretty good so you can record straight to the card out of the box I was actually a little bit surprised that they included a card and it also comes with uh, a remote control um, which is pretty cool so you can operate it without touching it because every time you touch it of course you bump things so that's why the remote control might be kind of handy. It has got a uh, white balance control. So I just put a, a white card under it, ran the auto balance, the white balance, and that seemed to work a whole lot better. Um, yeah, so it, it just seems really quite nice. It's got HDMI output. So as you can see, I've got it connected to a monitor. It also has USB out to do USB streaming. I have not tested that. I don't intend to use that function. And it can record at 2K to the card. Um, I don't believe it can output at 2K. I believe it can only output at 1080p. I don't have a way of testing that. It's a bit vague in the manuals, but the technical specs, um, I'm pretty sure it's 2K only to the card. So one caveat again is that the C-mount adapter that came with this microscope is a 0.5 C-mount adapter. So what that means is that there's a fairly high crop factor. So you can see on the monitor that we're looking at the train wheel bridge of this movement. But if I were to look down the eyepieces, which obviously I can't do with you guys, but we'd be looking at the whole movement. So it's a pretty high crop factor. Um, I have ordered a one third C-mount adapter from the Econ store. It was only, I think about 18 bucks or something with free freight. It's actually for a kit of three. So one of 0 0.5, which is what I've already got, one of a third and one of one, which I'm not sure why you'd want that, but anyway. Um, 
So that'll turn up in a few weeks time. So let's have a look at some footage down the camera. Yep, there we go, recording. So now what you're looking at is footage that's being recorded by the actual camera itself. And it should look exactly the same as what I'm seeing on the screen. And yeah, it's, it's pr pretty good actually. And if I just sort of go into full zoom, and if we just put that there, if we just do a focus, There we go. So we can see we're focused now on one of the pivots and yeah, I think that's, that's pretty awesome. You know, that's really, really helpful. So people have described a, a microscope as a game changer for watchmaking. Well, I think certainly for someone who's a beginner, someone getting started out, that's true. Um, my watchmaker does not have a microscope. He doesn't own one. Um, when you've got all that, that breadth of experience behind you, you do not need a microscope. That's true. So if you had that breadth of experience behind you in knowing just exactly how to apply the right amount of oil to the pivots and so on, then yeah, you wouldn't need the microscope. But I don't have that experience, so it makes it so much easier for me. And as I said, I wanted one for my electronics work anyway. Um, only one other caveat that I'd mention about the camera is that it does not record audio. It's got a little section in the menus for record audio on or off. I'm not sure what that actually does, to be honest, and maybe it might support some sort of a, a HDMI audio return channel. Um, I'm just not quite sure how that would work. But there's no audio inputs that I can see to the camera. There's nothing in the manual. Oh, incidentally, the manual's actually on a, well, the software's on a little CD and I don't have anything to plug the CD into, but I don't really need to use the software anyway, but it's online. But I couldn't find any clarification about that audio, but I've actually bought a uh, HDMI audio inserter box that's coming to me from Amazon. It's not here yet, but I can plug a uh, line into it and it will insert the audio into a HDMI video stream. Now, why would you want that on a microscope, you say? Well, it's because um, some software packages for video editing, they'll support automatic synchronization through the audio. So if you've got the same audio on all of your, your video sources, then it will just automatically line them all up. So it just makes it a whole lot easier. So that's the main reason why it's helpful to have that. So anyway, I think that's about all there is to say about this uh, Ekins Trinocular uh, microscope with camera. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel. I can't tell you how much it helps me. So like, subscribe and share. Thanks for coming along and I look forward to seeing you on the next video and watch out.